Hi everyone, I'm Zan from Felton Fair. Have you ever had difficulty designing a costume for a LARP, a cosplay, or even a film or a photo, and wanted some professional tips and tricks as to how to actually design that costume? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Hi, I'm Colton, and that's Thomas. We didn't pay him to say that because, well, he's an unpaid intern. Today we're going to talk about how to help you build an awesome LARP kit. Today we're going to be taking you step by step through our process for designing an outfit. For our example today, we're going to be using the Sea Lords, uh, one of the cultures we designed from our event Weekend Warrior. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you not only how we designed Sea Lord culture, but then we're going to take you through the Epic Circle from Epic Armory to show you how to choose individual kit items for your costume. So let's take it to the board. Here we have the board in which we have pinned our interests. We've decided to call it Pinterest. Uh, you guys? I don't think we can use that. Probably a good call, Thomas. Uh, Cole, we'll just call it the board. Carry on. Here, we have our Sea Lord cultural design parameters. We have our color palette, and we also have our historical cultural inspirations, such as the Byzantines and the Varangians. We also have listed what we are allowed to choose armor-wise and what we are not allowed to choose. So while our event Weekend Warrior does take place in a fantasy world, uh, we've actually created a kind of historical constraint about our different cultures. So we've put them all between the 7th and about the 13th century. And as we've been looking for our Sea Lords, uh, we've really kind of nailed down the Byzantines as the main inspiration for that culture. The reasons are, uh, first of all, the Sea Lords are a maritime culture and the Byzantines had a big navy. Uh, we also have designed uh, or put a lot of Eastern design implements into the Sea Lords. And so that works really well with having the Byzantine Empire. Uh, they have, they're kind of the, that good mix of East and West where those two uh, cultures met. So while this is a fantasy culture, we are heavily going to be taking from Byzantine inspiration for armor, weapons, uh, and the general design of the clothing and gear. You can see we've assembled a number of pictures that really demonstrate that sort of East-West armor mix. You can see how a lot of these cultures involve different face masks and face coverings, as well as lamellar and splinted armor that are all allowed for Sea Lord culture. The Varangians are also a great inspiration as they were Viking warriors in the service of the Emperor of Byzantium. They have that great combination of that East and West mixed. We're going to use this sort of armor inspiration as we're going through the Epic Circle and picking our items from Epic Armory. So while it's important to know what our Sea Lords are, it's also important to know what our Sea Lords are not. So while this is a medieval inspired culture, they're not knights in shining armor. So they're not gonna be running around in a bunch of plate armor. And while they're a seafaring culture, they're also not pirates as people typically think of them with the big hats and funny accents. Now we're gonna take you to the epic circle from Epic Armory. Unpaid intern Thomas, fire up the internet. Guys, this could take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> While intern Thomas accesses the interwebs for us, I wanted to go ahead and introduce to you the Epic Circle from Epic Armory. The Epic Circle is an awesome tool that's been developed to help you create a visually consistent outfit. For our Sea Lords, we're going to be working in the Stalwart universe, but there are eight different universes, and each universe works with its adjacent universes. So while we'll be working in the Stalwart universe, if we need to pull, for example, from the Ancient universe, which we will have to for our Sea Lords, then that will help us uh, enhance and create a really individualized look for our Sea Lords. Let's go to the computer. This is the all-new Epic Armory website. We're going to walk you through it. First of all, we're going to show you how to use the Epic Circle up in the top right. Here on the Epic Circle page, you can see the eight different universes. Sovereign, Defiant, Ethereal, Stygian, Ancestral, Ruinous, Stalwart, and Ancient. We'll be working in the Stalwart universe for our Sea Lords. Here on the Stalwart universe page, you can see all the inspiration, especially the Normans and the Celts, that went into building the Stalwart universe. Each universe has a page like this, and you can see the adjacent ones up here on the circle. So we'll be going over an Ancient. We will be drawing from Ancient as well as we design our Sea Lords. Now it's time to design our kit. First we'll go up to Metalworks and then to Helmets. Now we can use our handy tool to choose the Solwort universe. You see we have several great options here, but I really like the Raven Helmet as it provides that nice 
mask and face covering look that we want for our sea lords. We'll pick polished steel and choose size medium. We can look at the size chart here. I love that Epic Armory offers multiple sizes and helmets. And we can add that to our shopping bag. Another great tool is the Explore This Universe button. We'll click that. You can see several great recommended items here. Down in the bottom left, we find Viking Armor. Now this looks a lot like our Lamellar that we want to get our Eastern and Western mix. Once again, we have our nice size chart. And we can go ahead and add that to our basket. Now that we're done with this little Explore page, we'll go ahead and close that out. We'll go on to our next item up in Metalworks and then click Chainmail. Now you can see the different options we have for Chainmail here. You can choose from long, short, with a rider's cut or without. For this outfit, we're going to want a shorter sleeved coat with a rider slit. So we're going to go ahead and add the Ragnar to our cart. We're going to choose size medium and add it to our basket. Once again, a sizing chart for you right there. Now another great option is to look at second quality. So we're going to go back to Chainmail and check for second quality options. If there are second quality items available, they'll be here on this page. Second quality is a great way to get awesome items at a good price with only small visual imperfections. Now to defend our Sea Lord's arms, we're going to go to Arm Protection and once again choose the Stalwart Universe. The Viking Arm Protection provides that perfect splinted armor look. We'll add that to our basket. Now we can find the same sort of item for our legs. Leg protection. And there it is right there, Viking Leg Protection. Now we can move on to leather works. Every good warrior needs a couple good belts. Personally, I really like the two belt look. In order to achieve that look, we're gonna choose two different belts. First of all, the Godfrey belt. They have it in 170 and 130 centimeters. We're gonna choose 130. You can see they have quite a number of belts for all sorts of different cultures and universes. What I'm looking for here is the X belt that I really like for the stalwart universe. We're going to be looking for it in brown for our sea lords to match our color palette as discussed earlier. And there we go. There's the X belt in brown. We can now move on to everyone's favorite part, weapons and armor. So we'll go to weaponry and you can see all the different types we have there. For this kit, I'm going to want a medium length sword. Once again, we'll use our handy tool to find something in the Stalwart universe. This Celtic Leaf Sword right here is the perfect combination for our East meets West look. Now it's time to search for a shield, so we can go back up to our weaponry section and check in shields. It's right there in the middle, Zan. Before you can find it. There we go. Okay. Shields. All right. Now we'll check our stalwart universe. Now all the shields here in our stalwart universe are very round and very Viking looking. And while our other factions may look like Vikings, we don't want our sea lords to look exactly like Vikings. So we're going to check some other options. We're going to use our epic circle and go next door to our ancient universe. While we have lots of good options, it looks like this oval scutum shield will be our best perfect east meets west look. Once again, our size guide. We'll add that one to our cart. And that's all the items that we need for our kit. So we can go up to our shopping bag up here and take a look at all our items and review it. Hey, we've even made free shipping. The only thing left to do now is check out and our sea lord will be ready for his adventure. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share it with your friends. And feel free to check out Epic Armory's website and use the Epic Circle to begin your next adventure.